Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing my zombie glamorous tutorial. I'm starting off with a full face of makeup, just a neutral eye, but instead of doing the lips, I'm going to be covering my mouth with this wonderful liquid latex. This liquid latex smells absolutely horrible. I'm going to take a paper plate and basically you just want to pour all the liquid latex onto the paper plate. So I just wanted to do like a fresh neutral eye um, and then I also took like makeup cosmetic wedges. You can buy all this stuff at Ulta Beauty or any kind of beauty supply and I also grabbed a bag of cotton balls. So you're going to take the cosmetic wedge and you're going to dab it into the liquid latex that you just poured onto that plate. Then you're going to start pulling apart cotton balls. And the reason why I like to pull apart these cotton balls is because it's going to cause a lot of texture and you want tons of texture for this look because you want it to look like your face just got torn apart or you just tore someone else's face completely apart. So you're going to start dabbing that liquid latex onto your face. I started at my lower chin and I'm going to work my way up. And then I just started placing the uh, ripped apart cotton ball onto my chin. Now, when I first started this, I started freaking out because I thought there's absolutely no way I'm going to be able to do this. Um, I'm not very into the whole special effects makeup, but I decided to give this a try. I also went in with a tweezer, and with the tweezer, you can really pull apart at any strands. You want this to look as imperfect as possible. You don't want it to look like you were completely making this a perfect look because it's not supposed to be perfect whatsoever. And by pulling apart those strands of the cotton ball, you just kind of add extra texture and dimension to this look. Um, it's just going to make it pop out a little bit more, especially when you put the makeup on top of it. It's really going to look um, third dimensional and look like you're looking inside of your torn up face. So just use your fingertip, keep pulling apart, and what I like to do is I like to put the liquid latex on top of that cotton ball just to kind of seal it in a little bit more. You almost want to make like a cotton ball sandwich. So you're going to do liquid latex, the cotton ball, and then liquid latex again. So it's just going to dry up that way. And I also started going around my mouth area. I didn't want the mouth to be completely just bare and have nothing on it. I wanted it to look like I had just eaten someone's heart out. So I went on the mouth. Um, I will say it's probably not the easiest way to talk or the easiest um, way to maneuver around your mouth, but you know, you have to do it for the look. <laughs> so I started on the other side of my face as well. And again, just going in. Um, when I first started this look, I was very nervous. I didn't know if it was going to come out good. But once I started getting the hang of it and just kind of playing around, it just started coming naturally and I just had a lot of fun playing around with where I wanted specific pieces to go and what I wanted them to look like and stuff. So You just want to keep pulling those strands apart. Again, if you have to like grab another cotton ball or anything like that, you can. And just keep going in. You can always go over a part that you had already done if you want to add a little bit extra texture to that area. By all means, definitely definitely play around with the look. And there I am again, just like going over with the liquid latex again, just to make it seal in and just so it stays on firmly and tight all night. So now I'm going in with my foundation. Um, I want to match the foundation that I had already put on my face for my natural neutral look. So I just put some foundation on the back of my hand, just a few pumps, and then I went in with a flat top brush, and I'm just going to start dabbing this on top of the latex. Now you want to make sure that the latex is completely dried before doing this because you could damage your brushes if you don't. And then once I put the foundation all over, I went in with a red blush and this blush obviously it's not going to look very realistic this I just wanted to do as a base just so 
I had something to work with when I started adding the extra coloring and the blood just to kind of make that base tone. And then I went in with a purple eyeshadow. You can use any kind of purple. I decided to go with like a very dark plummy kind of purple coloring um, just so it kind of looks like dry blood or even just bruising. I didn't want blood to be just the main factor. I wanted it to look bruised and very worn and decayed on my face. <laughs> so I just kept adding that purple coloring and I just kind of flicked it with this fluffy crease brush. You can use any kind of brush you want, but I really recommend using a fluffy brush like this just because it helps with blending out. And even though this isn't supposed to be a perfect look, you definitely want to keep in mind that blending is key for this look because it is going to add that extra realistic value to it and just look a little bit more like you had really bruised yourself and it's not going to look as fake if you were to make it like a perfect look. I also mixed a few black tones, so I just went in with like a black matte eyeshadow just to add to that purple, just to deepen up that coloring and again add a little bit extra dimension. As you can see, I'm looking around. So I also grabbed my blood capsules and you can get this at any Halloween store or if it's not Halloween you can get it at any beauty supply um, store any place like that that would have fake blood and I just went in with my cosmetic wedge again just to dab on this extra blood and the blood is going to make it look a little bit more realistic and dimensional um, you can just leave it with the eyeshadow but the blood definitely helps with this look and that's basically all you have to do. It's really not a hard look. Um, what I did with my eyes was I just kept it very natural and used just brown tones and smoked it out a little bit. But I really wanted the mouth to be the main component of this look. I didn't want to add too much drama to the rest of my face because the mouth is really going to be the center point of this look. And I went in again with my brush just to kind of blend out that blood. And that's all you have to really do. So. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!